Hella Vlogs, episode 122. Mizzle with Mac out here in Chi Town with my man Honcho Bam and Agua Force Rico. This is a dope, dope episode. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And as always, enjoy the video. Everybody know me as Honcho Bam. I got a channel on Instagram as Honcho Jumping Rock. This is my boy Rico. Now I got him from Apple Force Kennel. Well, this is my second import from Apple Force. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. What part of Chicago? Uh, east side of Chicago. Oh, okay. How was it growing up on the east side of Chicago? Oh, it was alright. Yeah, it got its good and its bad, you know, but it's what you make out of the situation. Right. Did you grow up with Rockwallers? Well, my first Rockwaller I got, I was like 15 years old. And, I, like, I fell in love with her. Her name was Mia. What's so crazy, I, I just I got an import from Aquaforce and I renamed her Mia. You know, and it was just like, she died because I, I think, I think she died of, this is called Carver, I believe. She died, like, my female was hurt, 15, come home from football practice, and I was just, like, crushed because she was outside laying on my, my basketball hoop, and she wouldn't move, and, you know? So I was just, like, hurt. My dad was crying at the time, because <laughs> he was hurt as well, because, like, you know, that was my dog, that was his dog, and ever since then, as I got older, I had, like, bullies and pit bulls and stuff like that, but it was like, I always wanted a rock wall. I just always had to like, the urge for a rock wall. And then as I got older, I moved out on my own. And I was, I was ridden for a while. And it was like, I, I asked my landlord one time, I'm like, man, can I get a rock wall? You know, he like, no, those dogs look aggressive. And you know, I'm like, but I'll put some training on them, you know? And he was still like, no. But he said I can have a bully though. And I'm like, What's the difference? Like, you got dog, ear crop, all this stuff, but you, you you cool with me having a bully, but not a rock wall. And so I got to a point, and I'm like, you know what, I can't keep renting. Like, I'm gonna go back my own house. And that's what I did. My dad picked me up from football practice one day, and he was like, come on, come ride with me. And I was, we riding, and you know, he never told me nothing of it. So we pull up on the street, I think it was on 103rd and Edward. We, pit, we pulled up there, and um, this dude, he was an older guy, and he had like two, I, I want to say they German by the time, he looked American, who knows. But at the time, I really didn't know what it was, German or American. But anyway, um, I go inside, and my, I see these puppies. They was like, you know, like a, um, I want to say, it's not even a laundry basket, tote things, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. Yeah. So puppies was in there. And the man was like, you like him? My dad was like, he asked me, do I like him? So I'm like, yeah, they're nice. You know, I, I really didn't know at the time. He was like, pick which one. So I'm like, man, I pick this girl right here. And like, cause she just kept on looking at me, like running from me, looking at me, running from me. So I'm like, I'll take her. And so as I get her, I'm holding her in my lap on the way going home. And I never forget her. My father was like, what do you want to name her? And I was debating for names for my, like Peaches or Mia. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to name my Mia. And so as I get close to home, my dad was like, your mom going to be mad. Like, <laughs> she going to be mad. You got yeah. this dog. And so as I got home, close to home, I'm just steady holding the puppy. And I'm just looking at her like, man, she's she really nice. And You was holding her like you can't believe that she's mine? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. that whole situation. Mia was the only one. And then like after she died, I didn't have no more dogs at the time. And then after a while I started like as I got older in age and I moved out of my mom's house, it's just like I had I had American bully and I had my first my first American bully I had a ship from Fresno, California. And his name was Ghost. And then I say like I had Ghost for about a, a year and then I um shipped about another one. Her name was Glow. And I was gonna breed them. I was gonna breed them, but it was just like at the time I'm. This is the time I was renting. I always had that rock wall urge in me, even though I had these two top quality bullies that I just bought. I spent like thousands of dollars, right? Something got something was in me just told me not to breed them. I just moved into my home, and then I just I had got me a privacy fence built, you know, because I knew I was gonna get a dog. So I just got my privacy fence built like built in for my home, right? And so I was looking, I was in this rock wall of dude, and I seen Samson, Aqua for Samson. And I, I messaged Wayman at the time. And I messaged Big Dog, I said, hey man, um, 
when is your next love? And he was like, man, I got love coming about another two months. I don't even think they should, I don't even think Big Dog knew she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And so he was like, but I'm going to tell you this now. I got somebody in front of you on first pick mail. So I was like, okay. You know, he said, give me a call back in like another month. And so time came by, time came by. I messaged him again. I said, Big Dog, I said, I said, is the phone, um, did she take? He was like, yeah, she took. He said, but again, I got somebody in front of you. I'm like, okay. And so at the time, I was just like, I was getting frustrated. Like, <laughs> like I was getting, like, pissed. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's like, I don't, I don't want second pick. I want first pick. And so when she gave birth and Big Dog messaged me, like, she had a puppy. And so I'm like, you know what? I said, so what's up? You know? Uh, Big Dog said, hey, man, I'm going to let the person know who's in front of you because he's on the wait list. I'm going to let him know. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving to X amount of time a day, whatever he said. And if you don't see no deposit, I'm gonna come and message you back. And so as the time go by, I message Big Dog like every other day. Hey, did that guy send a deposit? He's like, nope. And I message him again. I, he said, nope. I said, you know what, look, this is how they're gonna do it. If you don't see a deposit by this day, I'm gonna send you mine. And Big Dog was like, okay. So when Friday came, I had messaged him. I said, Big Dog, did the dude send you the deposit at? He was like, no. I said, when I get off work, I'm going to send you the deposit. And the reason why I did it like that, because when I saw Samson, now, man, I seen Samson months before they ever made me inquire, like, to message him on a letter. You saw Samson on Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Samson, like, months ago on Facebook. And when I saw him, I was just blown. Like, man, this dog big, man. He got a big head, like, he bone. Like, he, he was just all around good rock wall, you know? So I'm just looking like, man, I got to have something off of him. Now, man, there's so many other breeders in this world that, you know, I could have went with. But it's just like, man, I, I had to get something off Samson. It was, like, destined for me to do that. You know what I'm saying? And so as the time go by, she had the puppies. Now, man, I sent Big Dog the deposit already, so I'll be calling him, like, Every other day, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Can I see pictures of him? Can I was just so excited because now mind you, I always wanted the rock wall before I had the bullet. So I sold them and I'm just like, man, now I'm finally getting what I really wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like a kid at a candy store, you know what I'm saying? I was so excited. Mm -hmm. And I was just like I know Miss Judy was she was probably like pissed because I was hitting women up like every other day for pictures. Let me see him. Dogs won't even probably eyes won't even open up yet. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's just how thirsty I was. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, man, I'm finally going to get it. I drove 19 hours to see him in person to go pick him up. And that's yeah. when I met you. And you was out there. You had you had me chest. You know what I'm saying? You was, you was getting me chest. And Big Dog treated me like family, like the whole whole time. You know what I'm saying? He's, I would refer anybody. <laughs> yeah. In my, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, he, he, he up front, he honest, and, you know, he, he be buying quality. He's not giving you nothing like no garbage or anything, you know what I'm saying? You told me about Irina. Yeah. And when you told me about Irina, that's when you and I decided to import together. Oh, yeah. And that's how we got on the Russian yeah. deal. So walk me through that story. All right, well, um, it, I would say I hit women up about uh, Ferrari because I got a female named Russell for Ferrari. And I was like, man, big dog, where you get her from? He was like, I was getting her from Russia, from this lady, from um, Irina. So I looked on her page, and she had these, like, rock walls and stuff i never seen before. These dogs were like baby bears, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was that big, but puppy, Yeah. you know? And at the time, I was messaging you like, man, I about your import, whatever the case may be. And I had showed you these puppies, and you was like, bro, who is she? Where she at? That's when you you got on board too and bought her sister. So, so Big Dog was just like, you know what I'm saying? He, I look at it like this, man. He he couldn't have never told me none of this stuff, man. Like, in all yeah. honesty, like he he could have just never helped me in that direction. He just basically gave me the blueprint on how to do it, what I need to do, set me up with the right people, and the rest was history. I just been importing. Like, Absolutely, he didn't have to give nobody. No, 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 me or you. Yeah, he's you know what I'm saying? Like me or you, he didn't have to give us to it, but he did, and that's why I respect him so much. Like, and I'm able to call him up, and he can just whatever I need answers to, he gonna give it to me. He's not gonna be like most people out here. They 
they're not gonna lead you in that direction, man. And women did. So it's like at the end of the day, I I developed a relationship relationship with them, and it's been history, man. I call them at any moment.